Hello, everyone. Are you ready for another story today? It's all the cat's fault. That's the title of today's story. The author of the story is Anushka Ravishankar and the illustrator is Priya Kurian. And the publisher of the story is Storyweaver. Why haven't you done your homework? Miss, it's all the cat's fault. The teacher asks the boy, why have you not done your homework? And he says, it's all the cat's fault. Let's see what the cat has done now. If she had not got stuck on the tree, I would not have taken the ladder to climb it. So the cat got stuck on the tree. To save the cat, the poor boy had to get the ladder to climb up and get the cat. If I had not taken the ladder to climb it, I would not have needed to fix it. If I had not needed to fix it, I wouldn't have woken up the baby. So what happened when he took the ladder to climb, he saw that it was broken. He had to fix it. So he's getting his hammer and nails and trying to fix it. Dung, 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 he's making noise. So because of that noise, what happened? While fixing the ladder, the poor baby woke up and the baby started crying. If I had not woken up the baby, my mother would not have rushed out of the kitchen. If my mother had not rushed out of the kitchen, the monkey would not have gotten. So what happened? The baby started crying. So the mother rushed from the kitchen to go and see what has happened. Since she went in a hurry, she didn't see that there was a monkey around and the monkey entered the kitchen and let's see what the monkey did. If the monkey had not gotten, he would not have eaten up all the food. If he had not eaten up all the food, my father would not have bought rotis and chicken curry at the tea shop. So the monkey came in, ate up all their food. So because of that, the father had to go get food from the tea shop. If my father had not bought rotis and chicken curry at the tea shop, the dog would not have followed him home. Oh, the dog was sniffing the food and it started following the father. If the dog had not followed him home, he would not have eaten my homework. So what happened? The dog ate his homework. So you are saying the dog ate your homework? Now the teacher is? Quite angry, she's asking. So did the dog eat your homework? Is that what you're trying to say? Yes, miss. It's all the cat's fault. Yeah, the dog ate it, but it all started with the cat, right? So it is all the cat's fault. Isn't it a funny story? Shall we see some of the difficult words in today's story? Fault means a mistake for which someone is to be blamed. Rushed, walk in a hurry or quickly. You're walking very quickly. Try these. Whose fault was it that the boy didn't finish his homework? Explain why. Like the boy in the story, what long stories have you given your teacher for not completing your homework? I hope you really liked today's story. Until next time, bye.